Oh, good grief. <laughs> oh, t -t 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 -t. It was the place that I honed my debating skills. Um, I came on as a blogger, I started writing, and I found it very good because you got people from all angles criticizing you what you wrote, how you made your argument, and all the rest of it. So for me, it was a great tool. It allowed a lot of people from a lot of places to pick fights with me and I think it made my arguments better and I hope they got the same out of it. At the time, it was very much people involved in politics were talking about Slugger O'Toole. So I'd been on the site a few times and they put out an appeal for unionist bloggers. So I sent Mick an email and said, oh, I wouldn't mind being a unionist blogger. I'd just left the UUP, I hadn't joined the DUP at that stage, so I thought this would be a nice way to stay involved in politics. So he made me a blogger and I had some fun. Believe it or not, Slugger O'Toole got me my job. Um, I have been writing under a, what's, it's not a nom de guerre, what's the one for writing? <laughs> pseudonym. Pseudonym, I was using a pseudonym. And what I was writing had actually proved to be very popular. And then one day I got a phone call to say that they were updating the team in DUP headquarters. They had read my stuff in Slugger, they liked it, and would I like to come and work for the DUP and write what I wrote for Slugger for them in private. So it got me my job, so that's my nice memory of Slugger.